were hearing a lot of things, seeing a lot of things last night. Some people just had power knocked out, maybe a couple small branches in their yard this morning. One family in Niles had a tree blow down onto their house, and I'm talking about a tree which had stood through plenty of storms before toppling over this morning. The tree fell over in Niles where Seneca Street meets Beaver Street. The roots broke apart, the concrete too, and the tree fell to the ground, but not before hitting a house across the street. A lone branch poked a hole in the child's room, right over the bed, and the mother told me about it. It definitely knocked, knocked some screws loose, so to speak. <laughs> Krista Vega is thankful no one was hurt. She had just gone upstairs with her fiance at 2.30 when the tree fell over. He thought it sounded like a sonic boom. That's what it sounded like. It sounded like a loud, loud boom, followed by a crash, followed by a bunch of smaller crashes, followed by some glass breaking. And Imagine hearing all of those sounds in the middle of the night. Aaron and Krista looked around to see what had happened, but today it was literally a night and day difference. There's a gaping hole in the side of the house that I didn't know was there last night, and it went all the way through into the house, and just the damage is just a lot worse than what I thought it was last night. The couple got a rental car this morning because the tree crushed one of their cars and heavily damaged another. That tree which fell over was easily 50 feet tall and at least 10 feet around, but was blown over like it was a matchstick. I know it's an old tree. I know it's been here for years, so um, I, I knew it had to be something crazy. Krista and Aaron had just moved into this house two weeks ago, fixed the kitchen, got the living room and bedroom set the way they wanted, and were just starting to relax and prepare for a wedding and baby on the way. Well, they're still smiling, knowing they survived a natural disaster together, but realizing the work ahead. Cleaning up one spot to dirty another spot up, I guess, but it'll get done eventually. Well, now that the power's on, we probably can stay here. We, I mean, my son's room's completely out of, it just depends on if somebody can get here to put a tarp on our roof. All right, and how about the kids? Well, the oldest kid went to school today. He wanted to tell his buddies about that tree branch which crashed through his ceiling.